my favorite snack, which I probably should be getting. My chips and pretzel combo. That good? It's like a party in your mouth, child. Mm. I didn't eat my lunch today. So listen, listen, listen. Typically, the person who has a YouTube channel, they can put whatever they want on their channel. And there are highs and lows with my channel. You know, sometimes it's going good. Sometimes I fall off. Sometimes I take a break, which messes with the algorithms. So I've been on this channel for five years. The channel is what? Only in Basil's world. So what goes on in my world? So I can post whatever I want. That's how it goes, right? And when you have your own channel, you post whatever you want. Or if there, I've never left negative comments on my channel since day one. If I don't like a comment, it's my channel. I could, t I could take it off. If, a, if it's a troll, I could take it off. So if you're a troll, I'm going to take it off. It's the YouTuber's choice. Am I, is that correct? That is correct, right? You listening? So listen, listen. And I'm going to try to be respectful as I can. But one thing, one thing about me is I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. And this goes back with the drama from the last two videos. So go back and watch those videos before you watch this one. And that's one thing I'm not. I'm not a liar. And when you have a YouTube channel, right? The viewers only see a little glimpse of what we put on there. What we gonna put every little tiny detail, every little thing? And who got time for that? Nobody, so you get the main points. The main points, the key ideas. Just like I teach my students. Put down the key ideas. No details in summary. Do not add details in summary. And make sure you include the key idea, the main idea in your summary. You don't need the details. So you want the big picture to gist. But again, one thing I am not is a liar. And I mention this, and I and guys, I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't have to talk about this. I don't have to answer anybody's comments. I know that, but you know, sometimes I do. I want to respond because this is what people are waiting for. Three people, one, two. I don't know. So this goes back with the. With what went down with Bay Daddy. Right? This all goes back. So, it's like some people want to be a victim. And like I said, out of respect for children, I wanted to be respectful to a child. Because you're 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 19, 20, you're still a child. Okay? And I still want to be respectful. So respectfully, Bay Daddy's daughter feels as though she's grown now, now that she's 18 and wants to tell me off. And she wrote a post and I deleted it. I didn't like it. But I'm going to read it to you. Line by line. I'm not even going to skip a period, a pause, or nothing. Because you know what? I'm not a liar but it is my choice to have whatever comments i want to leave on my page that's my business that's my choice but baby i will read line by line what you posted to me is it's negative energy i don't want it on my page just like a troll and it's my right so anyway and i want to respectfully address some of her things and i want to repeat again i'm not a liar and when bay daddy and i started talking the one thing i said never lie to me don't lie 
If I'm lying, I'm flying. And y'all know I don't fly. Don't lie. I said that from day one. So. So I've been called names and all that stuff. That's okay. And I know how people react when they angry because I do too. I do too. But with this, uh, with this video, I had to sit down on the bed, finish my little movie, and calm myself down. Once again, I'm gonna put my chips over here. Cross my legs, okay? And drink me a little tea. But again, respectfully, you're still a child, baby daddy's daughter. You're still a child. And I don't want to go back and forth with a child. But respecting your response. So I'm going to be baby daddy's daughter. I'm going to try to reenact this because, you know, everybody's heated. And let, let, let me go back. Let me go back. Y'all know I have a daughter, Bobby. Bobby is easygoing. She doesn't get involved. She's more neutral. Even when her dad and I were going through stuff, you know, I want her, you know, your mom has been here. Your mom has been your ride or die. Bop, bop, bop. You supposed to be on my side. Bop, bop, bop. But Bobby, she doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So she's always neutral. Sydney, she's a little more of a tiger. Clinton, la la land. So, oh, but Clinton, he 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 won't. He, he doesn't have anything. He's done with the dad, whatever. So whatever. So Bobby, she doesn't get involved in anything. You know, even my, you know, she'll come on the channel with me here and there. But she still tries to be neutral. Let me tell you something. I sent. The message that Bay Daddy's daughter sent to Bobby just sharing because we talk. So as Bobby gets older, it's like we become more like friends, but she still respects me as her mother. None of my children have ever disrespected me, cursed me out. None of them curse in front of me. None of them have ever that. So, but she still knows her boundaries. But as she gets older, you know, we have different type of conversations and sharing. And even when the kids were younger, I never said a bad word about their dad. I allowed the kids to come up with their own opinions um, as they got older. And it took years, <laughs> me biting my tongue, biting my tongue, it took years, but baby, they saw the truth for themselves. And like I said before, you know, baby daddy and I were, you know, I was open because I, I, I had the little things. Little things started to happen. I was like, mm, something just ain't right. But I was open. So for someone to say, I got what I wanted, you wanted to be free. No, I was still open. That's why we were still communicating and hanging out. You know, so, and that's why I was like, well, maybe you want to get a passport. You know, so if that's what I wanted... Why would, why would I still be coming over? Why, why would I suggest passport stuff? Make it make sense. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. But when Bobby, I just sent the, um, the response that Bay Daddy's daughter wrote. I just shared it with Bobby. It made her upset. And Bobby doesn't get upset. She, she doesn't get upset. And she usually doesn't, you know, take up for me or whatever, you know, so she, well, she stays neutral. But this time, she couldn't hold back. She could not hold back. And I'm going to say this again, and I'm going to keep saying it. The one thing I'm not, I'm not a liar. Okay? And when you have a YouTube channel, I said this already, sometimes I go into repetitive mode. Uh, you don't put every little thing. You give the key ideas, the main ideas. You know, like, let's just say I'm going to the grocery store and shop with me. You know, sometimes you cut to the different aisles. You cut, walking, 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 walk. No, you, you give the, the big ideas or you just do your haul. Okay, so that's YouTube. So let me, let me get to this. So I got my iPad. So this, I don't know if you can see it. So this is the message. I don't know what you guys can see. 
oops, because it's, okay? So if you want to stop your screen and read all that, by all means, go on. So there you go, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read it. So this is what she says. And y'all forgive me, I know I'm silly. I'm always gonna be silly. Nobody's ever gonna take that away from me, baby. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Well, and so I'm looking at, I'm looking at my, my iPad so I can read, ooh, so I can read. This, this is the baby. This is baby bay daddy, okay? <laughs> this is the baby, this, 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 this is the, the child. So I've been wanting to make a comment on one of your videos targeted towards my parents. I'll let your dating preferences stay personal to you. Okay, thank you. My dating preferences, I'm a unicorn. Okay, thank you though, I appreciate it. Her message, I would still say it was, it was, it was respectful. She didn't curse or do any name calling. So I do appreciate that. I really do appreciate that there's still a little respect even though she lost all respect for me because I'm, I'm the bad guy. But listen, 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 listen. Okay, I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna start over, okay? I've been wanting to make a comment on one of your videos targeted towards my parent and I. Because I was a minor, I listened. I listened to my parents' suggestions and decided to respect my elders. Well, thanks for your lengthy comment. I appreciate it. I know you've had things that you want to get off your chest. And once again, this is my channel only in Basil's world. So it's up to me, you know, what I decide to put on it. So I'm never gonna allow anyone to dictate what I put on my channel and what I delete from my channel. And from day one, from five, six years ago, however long I've been on here, I've never kept negative comments on my channel ever because I don't have to. Cause you know, I wanted to be fair. You know, because I'm not a liar and I'm not a hypocrite. Um, and I want to be respectful because you're still a minor. And, you know, I want to address your stuff because you have stuff on your chest. There's always two sides to, to the story. You hear your parents' side and you hear my side from the videos and so on and so forth. And you can believe whatever you want. You know, you take, take it with a grain of salt, whatever. You know, family usually stick together with family. Whatever, whatever. It is what it is. And you say that um, you were a minor before, so you kind of, you know, didn't say much, but now that you're grown, you're 18, you're grown, okay? So, but in my world, you're still the minor. You're still a minor, sweetheart. So I want, I'm gonna be respectful to you. Um, there's some things I don't agree with, but I wanna try to answer them, you know, for you. You say you wanna respect your elders, but you don't even respect your parents. Cause there's a whole lot I can say, just like you say, you can type several paragraphs, I could probably write a book. I would say, as far as your parent, I treated your parent way better than you or your grandmother. Respect, um, love, kindness, caring, um, understanding, listening. So you wanna believe that I didn't? That's up to you, but um, your parent knows that I did. Now that I'm a legal adult and truly have lost any ounce of respect I've ever slightly had for you, I will say what I feel like I need to say. Okay, you 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 can feel that way. I'll take that. That that's your prerogative. Okay. If you're done with the drama, stop posting about it in every video, profiting off so-called drama and half truths. Um, I've been at this for. Uh, many many years sweetheart so these videos don't bring in no kind of money it's just another day in the life of basil and sometimes when um, I'm impassioned about something I share it I've shared my highs I've shared my lows I've shared struggles with my children struggles at work struggles w w with numerous things not just this so if that's something that I want to post, that's my business. And you, another thing, I never said anybody's name. I never said your name out of respect for you. I never disrespected you. I told my truth. And once again, I am not a liar. I don't have to lie. I don't have to lie. Well, for what? It's just, anyway, 
okay? YouTube, you know, whatever's going on in my life that's exciting, interesting, even me getting upset with my kids. And I've, I've done tons and tons of videos that were filled with drama and, and, and um, exciting stuff, happy stuff, sad stuff, crying. So I've done the gamut. This is no different. So why should this situation be different than any other video that I post? Tell me why. I've been posting videos for over five years about my life and things that I've experienced. So this is not going to be any different, but I understand you're, you're upset because of what I said about your parent, but it was the truth. But you're going to feel the way you feel, so it really doesn't matter, but I want to be respectful. Once again, I know I'm being repetitive, guys, uh, respectful of your feelings and how you feel, and I can understand that. The relationship you had with my parent was probably the best thing that's happened for your little channel in years. Nah, I doubt it, but if that's what you feel, then you're entitled to that. Okay, got my little channel. Anybody got to throw the little up in here, but okay, all right, girl. Okay, so let me go through the rest. I really hope you do move on to better things and finally leave us both alone. So you are hoping that I leave the both of you alone? How do I say this? How am I pursuing or bothering you? Your parent has pursued me from day one, relentlessly. Oh, they always say they don't give up, they, 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 they don't go for what they want, blah, blah, blah. But there are plenty of times I wanted to walk away and the parent fought to keep me. So how am I bothering you? Did I, did I bother you just by being with your parent? Oh, I know what it probably is. Um, as you guys know, I'm talking to everybody. Sometimes when you start a new relationship, people who were previously in your life, they may feel a little neglected or um, like they're losing their parent because now they're sharing that, that love or so-called love uh, with someone else. So you're not spending as much time um, with others. You're probably feeling the loss of your parent because we spent a lot of time together. We did a lot of laughing together, hanging out together, and that was time taken away from you. So therefore, I guess you feel as though that's something that bothered you. I mean, it's facts. I mean, does it, guys, if that makes sense, let me know in the comment section below. Because even if I had like a best, best friend and then they found another friend and they stopped hanging out with me as much, I'm going to feel a certain way like somebody's trying to steal my friend away from me. So I get that and I understand that you're, um, you feel bothered with that because things you used to do with your parent, um, some of those things were then done with me or they wanted to spend that time with me or we wanted to spend that time together, hanging out, blah, blah, blah. So I understand how you're upset how any child would be upset over that because you're not, you don't have that same attention. It's like you're not the star of the show anymore because I became the star of the show. Um, your parent, so I thought, you know, found someone they loved and, you know, so we just spent a lot of time together, but it wasn't meant for you to feel, um, less than or neglected or anything like that or it's it's like a loss and, and i understand that you may not understand this but as 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 an adult i can understand that i was done with you from the beginning but especially after last summer when you kicked my parent and i out and gave us a matter of days to leave so when your parent and i had a huge disagreement, argument, whatever it is, your parent decided to no longer pay their half of the bills. The parent usually paid the bill on time. 
they're very good. I would say your parent is very good with coin. They're very good. They can manage money, files, whatever. They're great at that. And so when it was time for the rent to be paid, there was no money. So one day went by, two days went by, and I would never let um, the rent go past three days. So uh, make it make sense, sweetheart. You tell me, where can you live on this earth and not pay your rent? There will be a point you guys to go. So what I said, word for word, around day three of no payment, that's three days after, after um, the rent was due, I said, so you are not paying rent, so that means you're planning to leave. Those were my words. And let me remind you, I'm not a liar. I don't have no reason to lie. What I said again, I said, so you're not, you're not paying, so this means that you're planning to leave. Where do you live somewhere and you don't pay your rent? How can I be in this extended stay crappy hotel and not pay uh, pay for the room for the week. They knock, they, they, they'll knock on the door. They literally knock on the door and say, you got to go. I did not say to your parent that you had to leave right now. Or you could have paid, or you could have paid the rent. Or paid your portion of the rent. That's co common sense. So, I did not say, well, you got to get up and out of here now. No, I did not. So through the arguing and such and such, your parent decided to pick up and leave and go to your grandmother's house. I didn't say, you got to get out now. No, I did not. You can call me a lot of things, little Casey, but that's one thing. I'm not going to throw somebody out on the street. They decided to pick up their stuff and go. I didn't say get out. But where do you live and you don't pay your rent? And then you're going to be still chilling, staying up, chilling. No, nowhere. No, that's common sense. So if it don't make sense to you, go on, bye, bye. So hey, that's how that went down. So I did not kick you out. Once again, and I know I'm being repetitive, but I want you to understand, you can't live nowhere and you don't pay your portion of the rent, the mortgage or nothing. And talk about, and I had this discussion with your parent. Well, at least they give you X amount of days to move out. I didn't tell your parent to move. They had to move out right then and there. I did not. So anyway, that was their decision, their choice. And I can see how you could have been hurt by that. My family and I were hurt by a lot of things too. You know, so you were feeling one way. We were feeling another way. Your, um seclusion made us feel a certain way maybe you were secluded because we made you feel a certain way so mutual so i'm trying to i'm trying to be fair and trying to help you understand because i don't know what's being said on your side so i'm giving my side and i'm not a liar so anyway i can understand how that hurt you whatever and it and, and it hurt your parent i can understand but they made that choice once again you don't pay rent that means you're ready to go and that's what happened. I am truly glad that I didn't have to worry about anyone looking in my room and borrowing things without my permission after that though. You have hurt us both tremendously and I will truly never forgive nor forget the pain you have put not only on me, but also my parents. There's so many more paragraphs I could type about the dark cloud you have created that constantly lurks over both whenever you come around and bring your drama. Um, there are a lot of more paragraphs that you can write about your feelings. Baby, little girl, I could write a book, but there's a lot of things, there are a lot of details that I'm not gonna include in this summary. And that's just what I teach my students. There are no details in summary, just the key ideas. But there are a lot of things I can say too, but I won't. So out of being respectful for you and just stuff that's irrelevant at this point. Also, 
I don't know what you're trying to say in this video, but you certainly don't include how you tried to fight my parent in their home. Fight? Fight your parent? No, not true. What, what do I wanna fight for? What, what, I, what I'm gonna fight for? So no, nobody tried to fight nobody. Was I uh, upset because your parent was so concerned for this other person, so concerned for the other person and why it would text the other person and let them be abreast of what was going on? That hurt, and you're probably happy about that, but that hurt a little bit. I would say that stung, so you're so concerned about their feelings, but you cheated on me. Mm, make it make sense. So nobody, yes, yes, did I yell really loud? Is my voice scary? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And so nobody was trying to fight nobody. Where did that come from? Baby, please, I won't waste my time fighting nobody for that. Now, I will say if your parent <laughs> hit me, they would have been hit right back, you know, and aggressive and they want to fight me. Yeah, I'm going to defend myself, but nobody was trying to fight. Come on now. Well, I'm not 12. Uh, was I upset and was I passionate at that moment because they kept repeating? Well, why would why why would you why would you say that? Why would you send that? When they kept saying it, kept saying it. Um, I'm quite sure if you, if you were going through something with your boyfriend and they talking about they're more concerned about the other girl than you, wouldn't you be upset? That probably make you go crazy. Well, it made me upset, but nobody was trying to fight anybody. Come on now, I'm, I'm not. Mm -mm, that's not my thing. Now, if I'm going to defend myself, yeah, you know, you coming at me aggressive and you b b bucking up. Blah, blah. But was I very passionate and I was yelling because they kept saying it over and over and it was hurtful. Yeah. So, yeah. But nobody was trying to fight. So, I don't know where you get that from. I'm done with the lies and deception you spew on your channel. You done with the lies and, de and deception. And so am I. So am I. Is this what I wanted uh, with the relationship with your parent? No. I mean, we were working towards, you know, little things, baby steps, but the demise was the cheating and the lies. That, that, that's where it really ended. It was the lies. So everybody wants to be this victim here. At the end of the day, someone was dishonest. So if you found out that your boyfriend had another boo thing on the side, how would that make you feel? Whether you guys were working towards, you broke up, you working towards your relationship, you trying to work. So the, the expectation that you working with each other, not each other and somebody else, is common sense. I don't understand. So sometimes when you're trying to rationalize with somebody and the common sense is not making sense, child, bye, bye, bye. I hope you can truly reflect and learn from your wrongs as well. However, I'm sure you'll post a video about my comment within the next few days. Period. Period. You want me to reflect and learn from my wrongs as well? What did I do? I was, I was, I was always honest with your parent. I never cheated on your parent. Have I ever had a desire to, to fool around? No, no, I was still 100% faithful. I mean, I mean, you know, we had our differences, but I thought the understanding was that it was just two people, not three, maybe even four, who knows? I thought it was three, I didn't know there was someone else. So that probably makes you happy and that's okay because I know you're hurt. And so um, what did I do that was wrong? It, it doesn't even matter, but I hope I um, reflected on your post. And like I said, this is not something I want to keep on my channel, but I, I read it. I didn't skip any lines. I addressed everything um, because I know as a child, you know, I wanted to um, give you that respect and respond respectfully. I hope I wasn't disrespectful and I, I don't mean it that way. But um I'm sorry that the relationship didn't blossom between you and I. I really thought it was, but honestly, you, you were so quiet and um, like, a, um, and, and you, you, it's like you went inside yourself. There was like no reaching you. And that wasn't something I was used to, you know, me being having a, a big personality. So after a while with that, I was just like, oh, well, she's not interested. So I was like, Maybe she don't like us. So I don't know. So I went through my own emotions. 
but um baby casey i i do wish you the best um i wish you good luck in college um i'm sorry that you uh feel all this feel this hostility and anger and hate towards me i really do feel bad for that but you're entitled to feel that way but i truly truly hope that i address some of your feelings so maybe something you really want to talk with your parent and hopefully they can be honest with you because you know someone going around hating me for something i don't what did i do what did i do i explained the rent i explained you guys leaving i didn't say you guys had to leave right then and there no i did not um nobody was trying to fight fight your parent girl bye with that nobody was trying to fight your parent was i passionate was i hurt was i upset was i in shock yes because that's not something that i thought well i just knew something wasn't right something wasn't fitting in a piece of, something wasn't fitting in right and so i didn't really well when sometimes when you go look for something child you find it i guess i did i'm quite sure that makes you happy but i wish your parent i wish them the best happiness and is this something that i wanted absolutely not no um your parent was honestly one of my 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 friends they were my best friend so i'm hurt you know, so I deal with my pain and my hurt a different way than most people because I've lost so many people in my life. So losing somebody else, I'm like, okay, but there will be no pain that will ever, ever compare to losing my mother and actually losing my relationship with my 10 year relationship. Those two people have chambers in my heart that will stay there forever. So with that said, um, I wish you the best. I don't want to keep going back and forth with you. I don't want you going back and forth with Bobby. Um, and Bobby never gets involved. She was upset. And, but I was surprised Bobby took up for me, child. She usually neutral. I was like, you said something, Bobby? You really said something for your money? So she was just upset and she was hurt. And she told your parent that she never would have thought. She never would have seen that coming. And although I had my doubts like something was off you know I didn't really want to believe it so it is what it is um I really do wish you the best um that's all I got to say and once again that's one thing I don't do I'm not a liar I'm not a liar and I want to give you that respect to reply but this whatever you wrote I didn't want that living on my channel so with that said depending on how I feel tomorrow it may be another video like this where I'll be talking about something else it depends how I feel my emotions sometimes I'll I'll respond to a troll because that's how I feel so I wish you the best good luck in school and college and whatever you decide to do uh with your life so until next time guys if you have any thoughts i know i didn't have to respond um to the comment but i wanted to give them the respect and the last line that they wrote however i'm sure you'll post a video about my comment in the next few days so i wanted to say here i am <laughs> i did <laughs> so uh, so with that said so i don't know what's gonna be in store for me but you know, I will bring you guys along. Until next time, later.